Hi, Jonathan Carbuti here with the Jonathan Carbuti Home Selling Team and Carbuti Real Estate, and welcome to my town of Wallingford, Connecticut. Wallingford's a very special town to me since I grew up here. I'm raising a family here, my business is here, and I also think that Wallingford's probably one of the best kept secrets in Connecticut. You know, I have never been in a community that comes together more than Wallingford does. We are probably the largest non-metropolitan chamber in the state, a suburban chamber, and that's because of the people and the businesses that are here. I mean, look around you. It's a beautiful town aesthetically. The walkability factor here, the historical architecture here, it's like a walk in the park walking around the center of Wallingford. It's beautiful. I think we probably have better restaurants in such a close proximity than most any other town surrounding here. Wallingford has a surprising amount of open space available and rural space. Yes, you have a lot of thriving shops and restaurants in the downtown Wallingford area that's very walkable, but when you go to the outskirts of Wallingford, you have everything from vineyards to open space, hiking trails, you have trout fishing that's stocked by the state of Connecticut. My name's Ernie St. Amant. Uh, I lived in Wallingford my whole life, so it was great to grow up inside a typical New England town and everybody knows your name. The public school system here is fabulous. We have a great superintendent. They are constantly coming up with fresh ideas, bringing the latest cutting edge classes to our town and our high schools. One of the little known facts about Wallingford is we have one of the most prestigious private high schools in the whole country here called Choate Rosemary Hall. It's actually larger than most college campuses, but a lot of famous public figures, actors, right down to past presidents and their children attend this high school to this day. Another huge draw to Wallingford is our 69,000 square foot plus public library. You guys haven't seen a public library and the resources that they offer until you've stepped foot in the Wallingford Public Library. Wallingford's drawing a lot of new businesses right down to mom and pop sandwich shops like the eatery, independent bakeries like Elisa's Cakery, and we even have brew houses like Front Porch Brewery and Cliffside Brewing, and we even have a hard cider place called New England Cider Company. One of the other surprises here in Wallingford is that we have not one, but we have two vineyards. We have Govea Vineyards, which is on a rolling 120 acres, and we also have a smaller vineyard called Paradise Hills. And even though they're very different and unique in their own right, they're within walking distance of each other. Wallingford's conveniently located between New Haven, Connecticut, and Hartford. As a professional, my job takes me all over the state. And with respect to where we live in Wallingford, we can really get anywhere in the state within 20 minutes. Wallingford has a brand new train station with a high-speed train line up to Hartford, Springfield, and Boston. As far as the housing in Wallingford, there's a real variety of housing for everybody. We have everything from antique homes to houses built in 1776 down by Choate Rosemary Hall to large mansions up on Turnberry Road near the vineyard overlooking the landscape up there. We have excellent affordability if you're a first time home buyer here. People are surprised at how much house they can get for their money as opposed to some of the surrounding towns. And also if you're an upgrade buyer, you can also get a lot of house for your money. Even new construction in Wallingford, people are surprised. I just wanted to thank everyone for taking the time to watch our town video tour. And if you guys have any questions about the town of Wallingford, even if it's just a great restaurant to eat at or a local barber or any questions at all, give me a call at the number at the bottom of the screen or shoot me a quick email and I'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching.